Hello again. In this video, we are at St. Mary's Shell, which is in Cleveland, which is, uh, we've got Blackpool about five miles that way. We've got Fleetwood about five miles that way. And plonked in the middle is Cleveland. And, and is this shell, and it's, it, it's thousands of photographs of this, this uh, statue, this whatever it is, this sculpture of, uh, have appeared over the last few years and uh, you know this is the first time I've been here we're here with a group of photographers and it's not the best of evenings actually there is a little bit of light in the sky but uh, the sun's kind of hidden behind clouds and there's no direct light hitting this shell that we've missed the tide it's, it's kind of gone out now it was in about half an hour ago so uh, not not the best of, uh, of situations to try and photograph but we are here so as, as always we've got to make our best effort and see what we can do so there's there's a few angles of this shell and um, you know, on that side of the of the, of the shell, looking in towards it, you get the you get the sheen um, from the sun. On that side, you get a slightly different view with the jetty behind it. And obviously, there is a view looking straight down. So it's worth coming here and just having a, a kind of a move around, just to see see what angle you can get. Um, like I say, it's, it's easy. You can park literally uh, 25 meters away, just at the top of those little steps there, and uh, and walk down onto the beach and, and take your shots. The best time to come. I would say is when the tide is up, um, a little bit higher than it is now, probably in front of the shell. Uh, we'd have a couple of pictures when the tide was a little bit higher, and we'll show you those in a, in a few moments. So what am I, what am I doing with my camera gear, um, and what am I doing uh, at the moment? So we've got our we've got our camera. I'm using the Nikon D850 on a tripod. Tripod's quite low to try and um, just kind of get more detail in the ground and kind of move so we get a bit more sky. On the front, I've got a filter set. Now today. I'm using uh, an ND filter, I'm using a Lee Big Stopper, which is gonna give me 10 stops uh, of darkness, which is, allow, is gonna allow me to really slow down that shutter speed and kind of lose the detail in that water. Um, in terms of settings on the camera itself, I'm shooting at F11 and I'm shooting at 30 seconds. So my exposure time is 30 seconds. That's gonna give us a really nice smooth um, water in the background. A little bit of cloud movement, although there's no, there's no wind today, so the clouds aren't, aren't moving that much. And also shooting at ISO 64. In terms of lens choice, we're quite, we're quite away from that. We could get closer, we could use a, a wide-angle lens, but I'm using my uh, 24-70, to 70, and I've got it set to about 50 mil. So not, not close at all, not, not a wide picture, just a kind of normal um, aspect for a, 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 a photograph. So let's have a look at some of these pictures that we've, that we've taken this evening. Thank you very much for watching this video if you have enjoyed it please leave us some comments down below there's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel and uh, if you want to watch some more videos try these two because uh, they've uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those um, until next time thank you very much for watching